Hello and welcome to another beer review with the beer man. Today, I had to bring you a cider, not a beer. So, yeah. <laughs> I bring you a, specifically a one quid can of cider from B&M. This is Collier's Cider. I've looked at the side of a can, and I believe it's made by Brothers. I presume it's the Brothers who do all the fruity based stuff. And it's going at 8.4% too. So this is quite... It's, this is a big boy. Um, I'm not huge into size. I do like them now and again. I'm more into Perrys more than anything, to be honest with you. I feel that sweeter side of things. But I do enjoy a sweet cider. Um, I'm just doing this for a bit of fun, to be honest with you. It, it costs a quid. You know, I do all these reviews of very expensive beers. So I thought it would be a bit of fun. One, not do a beer. And two, it costs a quid. So if it's if it's, it's going to impress me, hopefully, I presume that I'm, that I'd impress a lot of people. To be fair, because it's not my bag, but I digress. Anyway, um, in terms of Luke's, um, when he said it was eight point four, I was I was really concerned. He's more a really dark, browny type ciders, you know, the really really intense ones. Well, to be fair to it, it looks really quite appealing. Appealing for a side, it's that nice slight golden hue um, yeah it looks quite like a classic size the carbonation is not too bad um, yeah let's uh, give it a close sniff eh? I mean it's cider isn't it you know what I mean but it, it does smell pretty decent to be fair because yeah, there's so many types of apples I don't know what types of apples there are in there um, but it has got that it's quite sweet it has quite a sweet smell but in a nice side, we smell them. That smells pretty decent to be honest. Yeah. It's like I can't do the vernacular I do with beers and stuff because it's so the hops are so complex. Where a cider is just cider, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally just apples. But I must say, it smells pretty good. So uh, let's get going. Cheers. Okay. Um, for a quid, that's pretty bloody good to be honest. This is pretty for a quid. This is actually remarkably good. Starts off quite sweet. It's actually really sweet to be honest with you. And then um, initially, I had this quite a whack of like intensity. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Um, they have that strong, quite a strong alcohol, but after the next sip, it is just quite sweet flavoured cider. Um, yeah, it, it ain't bad. Give me this over a strong bone, pretty much every cider you see on tap. Put it that way. This is actually pretty good. Um, I'm surprised. This is actually pretty decent, to be fair. I'm shocked. <laughs> And there's still bargains out there for literally a quid. Yeah, that is... I'm actually quite impressed with that. There's a bit of a warmth on my throat already. I've only had two steps, but... It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. I say I can't do the vernacular ciders, because ciders are just ciders, but... It ain't one of these, you know, bloody olivers or anything like that. Oh, they're amazing. Um, I mean, that the girl petty something there they're amazing as well um but for a quick card this is definitely better than every other brother side ever I'd buy a mile um yeah actually impressed so if you're a cider drinking needs some decent cider for a quid maybe just fancy a change you know when it's when it's nice weather for a quid I can you can't go wrong at all Super impressed with that. I ain't gonna do a rating because it's a cider, but yeah, not bad at all. Hope you've entered this slightly different review, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.